What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Handmade and Beyond podcast. I'm your host, LL, leader of the HandmadeAndBeyond.com website and community. I'm a self-employed entrepreneur, an Etsy expert, and business coach who's figured out how to make my entire living with my handmade business. Each week, I'll dive into strategies and success tips to help you with your handmade business, with Etsy, and everything in between. Let's dive in. All right, guys, what is up? Welcome back to the Handmade and Beyond podcast. Uh, glad to be back with you guys. Uh, it's been a little bit of a hectic month. Um, I did, I was off or I did take off uh, a week from the, the podcast uh, and I didn't really intend to do that. I know some people go on winter break uh, and they do take vacation. Uh, mine was a little bit forced uh, because things got a little crazy. Um, my business was really impacted by COVID as so many businesses have been. It was really a logistical nightmare that I had to figure out. Um, I had a lot of problems with getting new inventory in because UPS uh, was limiting the amount of packages that they were actually uh, sent, uh, picking up from distributors. So they were only picking up so many per day. So I had packages that were just sitting on the dock that I needed to get so I could ship out customer orders. And then I not only couldn't get inventory and, then, and uh, once I had it, uh, there's issues with USPS uh, being so overwhelmed with the influx of shipping uh, because of COVID that uh, orders are getting delayed. They're not updating their tracking information. Uh, so customers are reaching out um, on both sides, on both areas. Uh, where's my order? Why isn't it shipped? Why isn't there tracking information? Uh, so I was just completely backlogged and I had a whole, you know, hundreds of orders that I needed to get out. And I, I really had to get that figured out. I had to actually drive uh, two hours to my distributor. Uh, luckily, there's one in Florida uh, to get supplies. And then I had... Um, you know, all the outstanding supplies. So I basically had to buy duplicate supplies that I already ordered just so I would have them. So, but that is the fun of running a business, right? You uh, really being an entrepreneur is you're a problem solver. And it's really about how well you solve problems because you can't just uh, sit back and throw your hands up. I mean, you got a job to do, you got customers to make happy and it's not always going to be a cakewalk. It's not always going to be easy, but you can usually always find a solution and, um, you know, I, some of that is as crappy as that may be, it can be a little bit uh, exciting to figure out uh, different solutions. And in some ways, it may make your business better because the solution that you find may be a better solution than you originally had. Uh, so I, that's the way I look at it. I'm a glass half full type of guy. So um, I refuse to uh, be negative about stuff, even, um, you know, even stuff like that that gets overwhelming and you get a little stressed out, but it's never going to last forever and you can work your way through it. Um, so that was fun. That was a little bit of my experience. Now it is, uh, we're coming into a little bit of a lull period. Uh, so things can calm down and we can enjoy Christmas and get ready for 2021, uh, which I'm excited about. Hopefully you guys are too. Um, I think 2021 will be a good year, uh, at least better than 2020. Um, but that's kind of what I want to talk about today. Today's going to be more of a mindset issue, and I, I think it's really uh, a good, uh, this is going to be a good episode for you guys, so you can get ready to hit the ground running uh, come 2021. We're going to have an awesome year, an awesome year in your business, in your handmade business, on Etsy or wherever else that you sell. Um, we, we want to get you set up, or I want to get you set up to have an amazing year. Um, and a lot of that comes to mindset and your goals. <clears throat> And really what, um, you know, how you're looking at your business. So when you, you know, coming in the new year, as we're all familiar, it's New Year's resolution time. And that a lot of that surrounds losing weight. That's most people's New Year's re resolution. They want to get off the, the poundage that they put on from Thanksgiving and from the holidays and all the cookies. Um, so it's a natural New Year's resolution is weight loss. Um, and a lot of times what happens is you're, you're like, I want to lose 20 pounds uh, this year. And you, you have that goal. You start going to the gym just like everyone else. And then eventually you fall off course. You stop going to the gym and you never, ever lose 20 pounds. You never, ever meet that goal. Maybe you got close or maybe you lost a couple of pounds and then you put it all back on. Uh, and you just never, ever were able to reach that goal. Well, selling on Etsy 
is a lot like losing weight. And I know you're probably like, what in the world uh, does selling on Etsy have to do with losing weight? Uh, well, I'm gonna tell you. So the, the reason that people fail at reaching their weight loss goals and the reason that people fail at selling on Etsy um, is the same reason. It's because you're so focused on the end result, the, the 20 pounds that you want to lose, or you're so focused on, I want to make a thousand sales, or I want to make $10,000 or $20,000 on Etsy. That is your focus. That is your goal, but you never get close. Why don't you get close? Just because, you know, you people, everyone says, and you set a goal, you should have goals. Everyone should have goals, but rarely do people reach their goals. But why is that? Um, you know, what's the reason that you don't reach your goals? Well, the reason is because you're focused on the end result, which you don't directly control. I can't say I want to lose 20 pounds and then go in and, and, uh, you know, cut off an arm or something and lose the 20 pounds or cut off the fat and lose the 20 pounds. I mean, that's a little gross way to look at it, but I can't directly control that. You know, I can't control that end result directly but you can control the end result indirectly through the actions that you take. You can hypothesize what will get you to that goal. So if I want to lose 20 pounds, I can hypothesize that if I work out five times a week for 30 minutes and I eat less than 2000 calories a day, uh, if I stick to those things for several months, let's say for three months, I can hypothesize that I will probably lose 20 pounds or I will get darn close because I am focused on the on the actions uh, that it's going to take to get me there. Selling on Etsy is the exact same way. Focus on the actions. What actions can you do that you think will help you get to a thousand sales um, in however many months? Maybe you want your, your goal is by the end of year, 2021, you want to have a thousand sales. Well, uh, you can't just force go and uh, force people to hop on the computer and buy from your store. You can't directly control that, um, but you can uh, control the actions that you take uh, to get you there. So, you know, adding new products, you know, adding seasonal products, adding more of what people are buying or favoriting from your store, doing more marketing, um, you know, social media marketing, email marketing. Um, sharing your stuff more on, on Pinterest consistently. Um, those actions, along with many other actions, uh, will get you or potentially get you closer to that thousand sales by the end of the year if you do them consistent, uh, consistently. That is really the key. And you can't focus on everything. You can't go in and pick you know, uh, you know, 10, 15 things. Like You're going to do other things. Um, you know, for weight loss, I picked two things that I'm going to focus on calories and, and working out, um, that will help me get to my goal. Now there's other things that I'm probably going to do. I'm probably going to eat, uh, you know, more vegetables, more lower calorie foods. So I can just have more foods. So I'm not hungry to stay under the 2000 calories because if I'm eating pasta, uh, I'm going to blow through 2000 calories, super easy and, uh, still be hungry. You know, if you eat fast food, that's one meal can be 2000 calories. So I don't want to do that. I don't want to just eat one meal a day. I'm be starving. So I'm going to eat better quality foods, lower caloric foods uh, to stay under the 2000 calories. So you're going to be doing other things, but you can't focus on everything and um, keep track of everything. I can easily track on a calendar. If I worked out five times, I can easily look every day and see if I'm under 2000 calories. Um, so you have to do the same thing with your Etsy store. You can track, did I add two new products a week? And that's easily trackable. Um, you can track, did I share my products on social media every day? That's easily trackable. But you're going to be doing other things. You're going to be looking at SEO. You're going to be looking at keywords, how they're performing. Um, you're going <clears> to <throat> change around your listings if they're not performing well. Um, you know, if they're not getting visits, it's an SEO problem. Um, you're going to be focused on maybe improving your photography. Um, you're going to be focused on maybe improving your shop, maybe improving on your listing descriptions. Um, there's all kinds of things that you're going to be doing, but you need to pick two things that you're going to manage and that you're going to track. So maybe 
you have a decent amount of listings, but your photos are terrible. So I'm going to redo two photos a week. And that's what I'm going to do. Uh, because that will get people, more people to look at my listings and more people to potentially buy if they're not um, blowing past my listings in search because my photos are terrible. Um, so that's one thing that maybe you can do. So there's a number of things that you can do depending on where you're at in your journey, um, depending on how your shop's performing, uh, that you can pick one to two things that you're going to manage to each and every day, each and every week, and that's gonna translate into monthly, um, and that's gonna translate into your end result, into your ultimate goal. That's what people miss, and that's why people never hit their goals, is because they do not manage the actions that get them to the end result. And the important part of this is you have to actually track it. You gotta. You got to keep yourself accountable by tracking the stuff simple, simply on a calendar and you need to um, set specific action items. It can't be, I'm going to do this thing every month and that's it. No. Um, what thing are you going to do and how many times are you going to do it a month, a week, a day? That's specific. Um, and just like your, what, whatever goal you want, you can't just say, I want to get a thousand sales as your end result. I want to get a thousand sales by the end of year 2021. So you know what that deadline is. Um, so on both sides, on the end result side of where you want to get to and on your action side, um, that is really what you need to change your mindset on and be more specific so you can reach uh, your goals. And that's the missing component uh, that really hinders people's progress and people's success because they're not managing that they're not specific enough and the, the way humans work you need to have specifics to manage to you can't just do it willy-nilly um, and then you, you're going to get lost and you're going to stop doing the things that you need to do you're going to chase the shiny ball which we've all do and we, which we which we've all done it throws us off task of, of what we should be doing at the end of the day to grow our business uh, so that's a couple of tips for you guys going into 2021 and hey, you can use them for weight loss too. If that's your goal, that's awesome. You want to lose 20 pounds. That's awesome. When do you want to lose 20 pounds by and what are you going to do each and every day, each and every week uh, to get you to that weight loss? So this will help you um, get you get your weight loss or whatever your goal is. Really any goal, this will help you if you kind of tweak your mindset, tweak how you think about it. Um, and that's really at the end of the day, what matters is we want to not only be able to set goals, but we can set goals all day long, but if we never reach them, uh, that's a problem. That's, that's where it doesn't make any sense. And it's kind of a waste of time to set goals if you're not ever going to do anything to get to them. So continue to set goals, make sure they're specific, but more importantly, what actions are you going to take to get you guys to your goals? So hopefully that helps you going into 2021. So we can have an awesome year uh, together grow your handmade business, grow your Etsy business and, um, you know, blow past your goals that you set for yourself. Um, cause that's really what I want for you guys. Um, at the end of the day, uh, if you guys would like to be part of the handmade and beyond community, um, to work with me to set uh, additional goals to, allow me to help you reach your goals and exceed your goals, um, by diving into your shop, looking at our shop, giving you guys critiques, giving you guys tips, tools, strategies, um, walk through courses that I've done in my own shop to get me uh, over the uh, top 1% seller mark for um, some quite some time years ago, I reached that mark and I've uh, never looked back since. Um, there's a community in there where you can ask questions, get help. We have live coaching every month where if you want to do live shop critiques, live listing critiques, um, we have workshops, uh, live workshops, so we can dive into different components, um, different strategies live to grow your shop and work on your shop together. I'd love to have you guys in the community and get access to all that stuff. It is an investment in your uh, future as a handmade business owner. Um, I want to get you along in your journey faster. Um, there's really no reason not to take advantage of this uh, and invest in your business. You know, people go to college, they invest in their future. They invest in uh, huge tuition costs. Uh, this is a very, very little investment. Um, actually, it's free for 30 days. 
Um, you guys can get a free 30 day trial right now um, to try it out, test everything out. Um, so you can go to handmadeandbeyond.com front slash HB free trial to get access for 30 days. All those resources uh, allow me to dive in and help you guys out, ask questions, uh, and just be that support system that you guys need um, to know that you're not alone. There is a place to go, a safe place where you can ask questions, any question about your business, um, about Etsy, uh, and get uh, really fast responses. I'm in there every day um, and get the courses. I'm always adding new courses in there, new strategies to try. So it's never stagnant. It is a living, breathing community with living, breathing resources that are constantly being updated for you guys. So I'd love to see you in there. Um, get access. Like I said, uh, the link is also below. I hope to see you in there soon. Outside of that, hopefully you guys have an amazing rest of your day.